Welcome to this DayZ tutorial about three tips and tricks that I've discovered along the way since the launch of the game. And without any further ado, let's get cracking. So for this tip, this is something that I like to call damage control. And as you have probably noticed, if you have been hit by a zombie or shot by a player once before, if you survive the assault, you will still be left with broken things in your inventory. So, in order to make this damage lower, what you can see if you take a look at my bag is that I have divided all my things into different bags so that even if my pants, for instance, were to be completely ruined, I wouldn't be left without water, food, ammunition, or bandages. So, if you can take a look at my bags here, you can see that I have ammunition, food, and water and some medical supplies in my f in my jackets and then in my pants I have food, water, bandages and some other useful things and this goes on if you take a look at my other containers as well and this olive assault west I have bandage, food, ammunition and water and of course you want to store the bulk of your items in your hunting backpack but if you can live <laughs> with your inventory be an, being unorganized I think it's better to spread out your things as much as possible into each container. This next tip is something that I actually learned from Sacriel's stream and once you get a bit of established into your profile at some point you will have hopefully if that's what you're going after gear that looks similar to mine which indicates that you have some green military gear and by this point you might have a fire axe and this is by far the best melee weapon in the game but it has one major downside and <laughs> that is of course the colors they are standing out and they are nothing like the camouflage gear that you are wearing on the rest of your body so in order to get rid of this downside, all we have to do is basically store it in our backpack. And this might to some of you seem a bit silly, because you can obviously see that that huge thing is not fitting in my hunter backpack, but nevertheless it only takes up 5 bag slots, so what you want to do is to drag it all the way down and put it in your bag. And as you can see, it, it is a sacrifice of 5 bag slots, but I think that the the benefit far outweighs the downside of having this loss in bag space and my contours which is also something that Sacriel is talking about is a lot better. Before ending the little tip about the axe I would like to mention that even though you are wearing your fire axe no longer on your back but in your backpack it is easily accessible just by dragging it like here and then putting it on for instance your number one key so if you are equipped with your machine gun for instance and then a zombie would run up to you come into melee range you can just press the one key and as you can see there he's just pulling it out of his bag in, in a split second okay so for this next tip I'm gonna show you how to collect some blood from your friend so you, uh, so you can be sure that you have the right blood type I will only be giving this blood bag to him in the case of emergency and ideally you want your partner to do the same thing for you is that you each have the other person's blood that, that you can give to them in the case of an emergency so first I'm going to pick out my blood bag from my uh, first aid kit so th here it is and then I will put it in my hands and you can see that directly it appears collect blood so when I start to collect blood from him, uh, he will lose some blood, so when I have my bag filled, he has successfully lost some blood, and in return I have some for him here. And this is very useful because you don't know if you have the same blood type as your partner, but this way you make sure that you give his own blood back to him, and there could be no room for error. Alright guys, thanks for watching, that was all from me this time, and if you want to leave any feedback or suggest some tips of your own, 
feel free to use the comments below.